The Telegraph Improved is an English cucumber dating to the Victorian era. It's the result of much tinkering and refining by generations of busy British breeders. The effort certainly shows. Each fruit is long and slender with tender, thin skin, a sweet, nutty flavor, and small, inconspicuous seeds. The Telegraph-type cucumber was bred for an impossibly long and uniform look, a hat tip to the sometimes absurd perfectionism of Victorian gardening. The precise origins of the original Telegraph cucumber are murky, but the name likely comes from the shape of its fruit, long and skinny, like a telegraph cable. This variety was first developed for growing in the opulent English glass greenhouses of 19th and 20th century British aristocrats. The most impeccable specimens were submitted for judging at local garden shows, and these fierce competitions were the ultimate test of breeding innovation and skill. Practically speaking, straight cucumbers are easier to pack and ship, and crooked ones are harder to cut and prepare. It seems that every prominent plant breeder of the Victorian era tried his hand at improving the telegraph cucumber. In 1911, the Journal of the Royal Horticultural Society included several telegraph-type cucumber varieties. Most sported very British names like Her Majesty, King George, and Pearly Park Hero. The journal also listed several telegraph-improved cucumbers, each named for a different breeder many from the most influential gardening family dynasties of England. The telegraph type soon became the archetypal English cucumber. French seed house Villemoran mentioned in its catalog not one but two telegraph improved cukes, the Rollison's improved telegraph and the Jarman's improved telegraph. Selecting for long and slim fruit wasn't the only way that Victorian era gardeners aimed for straight. They also trained vines up trellises. But British inventor George Stevenson, famous for creating the world's first public rail line, wasn't satisfied. He obsessed over growing perfect cukes in his garden at Tapton House, which is how he came to patent the glass cucumber straightener. It was sort of a glass prosthetic for little cukes to grow into. An ad in the 1848 Gardener's Chronicle and Agricultural Gazette offered the cuke straightener in both 12 and 26 inch models. The straightener was a must have for fine gardeners of the era. And for those on a budget, author Harriet Ann DeSalis suggested a DIY hack using a cracked lamp chimney instead. Eventually, this superfluous garden tool fell out of favor. It was just too expensive, not to mention impractical, to make each tube by hand. Today, Stevenson's glass straightener is just an amusing reminder of the sometimes preposterous and persnickety gardening habits of the Victorian aristocracy. While the cucumber glass didn't survive beyond the Industrial Revolution, the Telegraph Improved Cucumber did. This thin-skinned, sweet-flavored variety is still considered the quintessential English cucumber, and thanks to its naturally straight form, there's no need for a glass mold to keep it in line. Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.